So we're back with the big one, certainly the big one in Swedish terms. Black and red for Sweden, Henry Heskainen, and in blue for Spain, now veteran, Pablo Albion. This certainly Henry's best performance at his home international that I can certainly remember. Always flattered to the sea. And fought at the first and second hurdles, but this week a different Henry. A lot of pressure on the shoulders of the second seed here, of course. Playing on his home court, hometown of Sala. That's a good start for the Swede. Hampered by injury last year, sustained sustained horrible hand injury. Played in, in the European mixed team in Russia, and took him all summer to get over that. And then had a good end of year, getting to the semi-final of the Swiss, and then runner-up at the Scottish Open Grand Prix, just beaten by Brees Levides on that occasion. Pablo now, of course, operating outside of the Spanish National Center, independent Spain for Pablo. And it's dropped a long way down the world rankings since qualifying for the London Olympics. won the Welsh International in December, last week of November, beginning of December, semi-final in the Irish the following week, semi-final at the Hungarian, finalist in Portugal in 2013, so a consistent year for Pablo last year, the only real blot in his copybook was a first round exit in the Scottish Open Grand Prix.
at least two know each other very well, four matches. And it's just going in with a better head to head record, three to one. For the last meeting a long time ago in 2010. So uh, there's been a lot of badminton under it. Been played by both men in the meantime. And certainly, Pablo very focused and has a point to prove to his national federation. And Henry looking to get to the final to sure to draw in a large crowd, big crowd here behind the Swede. Spaniard. Three rounds, three wins in two games. And Henry has had to endure two tough three set games in the first round against Christian Lynn Thompson of Denmark and the area quarter final, winning 24 22 in the deciding game against the inform Rasmus Fladberg of Denmark. So, certainly, it's the Swede who has covered more ground on the court this week. And you can see a lot of heavy taping on his right leg, calf area, suffering from a little Achilles problem. He says it affects him on a jump smash and having to come forward is when he can feel it. Certainly one thing Henry will be prepared for. Some long rallies with Pablo. And a good start for the Swedish number one European Championship runner up, of course, in Karlskrona almost two years ago now. Beating Peter Geta in a famous quarter final victory for the Swede and home turf will be something he will always remember. Thank you. 
Yeah. Pablo throws his hands to heaven. Not many answers going to come from up there, Pablo. Spaniard, the winner, of course, back in 2010. It's a backhand smash from Henry Huskanian. No. Good deception. But Pablo showing his hand way too early. Pablo drawing Henry in to play the long rally. Six point advantage now for the Swedish number one. Really healthy lead to have this. The end of the first game. But Henry will know from his quarter final that there's no point sitting back and being passive. When the winning line was in, within sight, he did that against Rasmus Fladberg. 
nearly came unstuck. Squandered four initial match points against Flatburg before seizing the initiative again to take the match. Good diving defense from Henry. Oh, and a powerful smash down the back hand side of Pablo, taking the three to gain point. Judgment from Henry, called in by the line judge. And again, the Swede needs to be a little bit more offensive minded. Well, good news and quick need to get back from Henry. That's the first game to the Swede, 21 17. Good start for the Spaniard in the second game. Thank you. 
Clever tactic that time from Pablo. This match right down the middle. Sarah Stahashini calling a fault against Pablo Albion, saying that she hit the net. Clear winner in the end for Henry anyway, so it didn't really make a difference. And the self defensive block rather than the defensive block from uh, Henry paying dividend. But it's a good start for Pablo Avian. An explosive feat from Henry coming forward.
Uh, but men's doubles from both men. Oh, diving retrieval from Pablo. Great rally. A bit of too much air in that net shot from Henry. And they're taking the pace off. Coming across the body of the right handed Abion for the winner. High intensity in these rallies. The interval lead for Pablo. Good play from both men at the beginning of the second game. Pablo doing his best. Diving. Sometimes, even if you know it's going to be difficult to get the shuttle back, dive and try and touch it. it just puts it into the, your opponent's mind. They just still have to go, and go out wide to win the point. Really high pace for these rallies now from both men. And the crowd certainly are getting behind their hometown favourite. Oh, a little bit of rush serve, almost moving on the serve that time, Henry. Just when Henry has gone and looked to be getting back into the game, Pablo Abian goes on a run of four points in a row to eke out a five point advantage again. And Henry closes it back to four with that smash. I don't think Henry expected Pablo to get anywhere near that push deep into the forehand corner. Superb wrist from the Spaniard.
Certainly looks at this point in time. And for the third match in a row, we're going to go to the deciding set. Thank you. Thank you. Oh, a little bit of luck for Pablo. The shuttle doing the Fosbury flop over the net. No chance for Henry to get it back. Rippling down along the net court. Henry certainly gets some, getting some mileage out of the three quarter six matches. The more accurate smash is certainly uh, proving worthwhile for the Swede. Oh, a string gun on the backhand. Five game points for Pablo Abian. Second game to Pablo. Poor drop from Henry after a good rally from the Swede. We're all square. One game apiece.
So it's the final game in this entertaining men's singles semifinal. The winner looking to advance to play top seed Villa Lang of Finland in tomorrow's final. And right now, it's Pablo Abian who seems to be riding the crest of that second game win. The Spaniard looking the more up for it at the moment. The large crowd again behind uh, Henry Hiskinen in this. Third and deciding set. Certainly the biggest crowd as I've seen at a Swedish international stroke masters. I've been to the last four or five. So uh, justifying moving the tournament from Stockholm to Uppsala, and the first time really organizing an event of this size here in Uppsala, and so far, done such a good job, the arena looking good, plenty of yellow around, you, and no doubt you're in, you're in Sweden, and when you walk out, you're no doubt, you're in the depths of winter in Sweden, snow everywhere to be seen. This is a warning for Pablo. Yellow card from Sarah Tahoshini for Pablo Abbey and for misconduct. The lack of temperament bubbling over and the emotions of Pablo Abian and the cool Swede just letting it all brush over him. Such a contrast in styles and personalities, Henry and Pablo. Pablo 
just settling himself back into this deciding set again. The clenched bits and the shouts of Vamos from the man in blue. Oh, the drive down the middle, very close to being in from Pablo Avian. But a missed opportunity for the Spaniard. It's Henry back to within one. Long rally. Both men trading attacking opportunities. Oh. oh, great diving and retrieving from Henry. Oh, and in the end, <laughs> Pablo letting the guard know that he was the king of that rally. Good play from both men, entertaining badminton.
<laughs> After all the hard work in the previous rally, Pablo just throws it away with a terrible serve. McCall again getting behind there, man. Change of ends as is mandatory in the third end of a deciding rubber in badminton. And right now, you can see just off court is Pablo Abian clenched fist in the ascendancy. Two points to the good. Tap in the back. Munoz to his man. But this is it. No more intervals. No more changes of end. And it's all in the hands. The two players on court. King Henry has done it. Sarah. Sanhassini having a lot of words with Pablo Abian. Strong character, Sarah in the chair. Yellow card, always at the ready. Oh, wild smash from Henry. Good defense from the Swede. In the end, pushing Pablo onto his backhand in the clear from Avian, drifting over the baseline. Oh, and that goes down as a 
unforced error from Henry. Easy, easy smash opportunity. The lift only half court from Pablo. And all of a sudden, four point lead for the Spaniard. This crucial venture, this crucial point in this exciting set. That's it, Henry. Half a yard. Pushed more forward in the court that time from Henry Hiskainen. Good anticipation. And yet again, it's just going and back to within one. Yet again, Henry back to within one. Can he go one further and tie it up? The crowd can certainly sense a comeback. Oh. 
And the applause rings out around the arena. Nineteen all you can touch cut the tension with a knife here. And if that's coming with work from that point and the crowd clapping up there. Can he do it? Can he get to the final? He's done it. And he was standing through to the final. What a comeback in the third game. Fantastic play by this lead. The Joe will be winning and through to tomorrow's final World Series Vila Lang. So it's for an interview with his opponent. And we'll be back shortly then with the women's doubles here at the Swedish Masters semi final.